Hey YouTube, it's Dab and Doug, and we have an amazing review to do today. We're going to be reviewing the PAX 2 Vaporizer. It's an amazing new vaporizer, sleek new design, all cool stuff. Let's get straight into it. The sleek new package here that PAX 2 has got brought us today. We're going to open this up right here. Nice little pedal design they have here, and voila, beautiful sleek design. Looks something like an iPod here. Beautiful aluminum here, nice deep red here. We have the mouthpiece right here, pops right off. And the oven where you put in your dry herb, right in there. Well, first, we're gonna take a look at the inside of the kit that it comes with. It's a complete kit, it comes with everything you need. We're gonna look at the charging features of the PAX first. Now, it's an interesting magnetic charging system that the PAX features. On the bottom of the packs, there are these two magnetic posts there. The, po those magnetic posts lie on this one here. They just clip on right there. As you can see, it's completely magnetized to the PAX 2 vaporizer. Then that charging station plugs into the USB cord that's attached to it. Plug that in the computer, it starts charging. Fully charged battery for the PAX 2. It runs around three hours. It's a really long battery life. It's gonna last you a really long time. Um, really cool stuff. Next, let's check out this cleaning kit here. It comes literally with everything you need. Inside the cleaning kit, it comes with 100% isopropyl alcohol in a nice little container and some pipe cleaners. You get the pipe cleaners a little bit wet with the isopropyl alcohol. You pop off the mouthpiece and right in there you can see where the vapor comes out. You stick the wet pipe cleaner inside of that, push it down in there and then just pull it out and you can see the residue that's come off. You, you'll, you'll clearly be able to see if it's being, being cleaned or not. You just pop that back on there, good as new. It also comes with different types of mouthpiece. The mouthpiece that it comes with is a flat mouthpiece. You, you can see on the top there, there's a little opening right there. Um, if you can get a closer looking right there. And then you put, uh, to use it, you put your mouth on the top here. Don't, don't not even have to en en encompass the entire lid, but only this little slit right here. And you take a small cigar-like pull on the vaporizer just to on that, good as new. You can pop off that mouthpiece and trade it for this lifted mouthpiece that they have. Works a bit differently, similar to other vaporizers like the Titan out there. Um, and just like that, you put your mouth right over there and pull just normally. Works just fine. Pops right off, made out of rubber. Um, has a little baggie for it. But yeah, those are the, the the different mouthpieces that it comes with. Um, they're really easy, easy to change, um, remove everything. Um, but yeah, everything uh, is easily contained inside this kit. Um, but let's get back into the features of the packs. If you can see a little bit on the mouthpiece, there's a little circle right there in the center, and that's the power button. You can press it once to turn on, and as you can see, it's turning on there. They, they feature a pedal design right on the front of the PAX with the LED lights, and that's pretty much how you control the PAX via the power button and these lights. Um, right when it turns on, it starts heating up. It has about a 30 second to one minute heat up time. As it's pulsing like that, as you can see, when it's changing in colors like that, that's when you don't hit it. Um, in this time, you could be um, putting your herbs in the convection oven right there. This is a true vaporizer because it has a convection oven, by the way. Um, there is no coils that you're using or anything. Because it's, it's uh, heating up these uh, dry herbs in this oven, it's truly vaporizing the herbs, and thus makes it a true vaporizer. Once it turns green like that, that means that it's ready to be used. Um, and you can pop that lid on back there. There's also a magnet on this uh, lid to the oven right there. It just slides right on. Once it's green, like I said, it's ready to use. And you can hit it normally, like I said earlier, once again, like a cigar-like pool. Um, there are a lot of different features while it's on that you can use as well. Um, starting with uh, changing the temperature of it. Um, you just hold down 
the power button right there. And then when it changes to these different color uh, pedals here, um, you can see what stage of temperature it's in. On this stage, it's in the second uh, highest stage. You press the power button one more time. As you can see, it's in the third highest stage. And let's say that we want to add that stage. All you have to do is shake it. You shake it and we're back to normal. It's, we're back to, it's charging, um, heating up back to that point. Once it turns green again, it's ready to use. Um, well, and it has so many different features like that. Things that you'll just never need to use. Like for instance, let's say you're just fiddling with the packs, flipping it around a couple times, and then all of a sudden it starts changing colors. It has so many features, even a rainbow dance party. It does so many different things. You can even flick it a little bit and then it'll tell you how much battery it has left. When it has four pedals lit up, that means it's got full battery. You'll also see that when you're charging it. It's got so many crazy features, so many cool things to do with the packs too. We, got, we really hope that you guys enjoyed this. You guys can check it out at smokecartel.com. Thanks for stopping by. Dab and Doug, out.